Lago de Santo Agustino. St. Augustine Square. And this is marked by a library right here. There's a uh, seminary right here. There's a uh, cinema right there, theater. And this is actually also kind of known as the historic area of Macau. So what I'm gonna do in a minute is I'm gonna start in this library. I'm gonna go in it. Just kind of show you real quick what it looks like. Then we're gonna walk this way into this Casa Riki, um, which is also open right now as well. And then this street is kind of a small street and it just focuses on this little square right here, which we're also gonna walk into as well. So, um, so stay tuned for that. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Okay, so as promised, the first thing we're going to do is walk into this library. <coughs> <coughs> A little bit fighting a cough here. Try to capture the beauty of that. So there's a little bit of a history about this guy. I was reading about him before. I know he was um, Macanese, mixed, um, and very prominent. Let me see. Japanese, Chinese, Portuguese, English. So, um, oh, that's funny because there's a street called Kunigai in Taipa, so there must be some connection. So, uh, Sir Robert Ho Tong, a prominent Hong Kong businessman, purchased this in 1918, using it as a retreat for his relocation to Macau during World War II. I'll talk about that later. Passed away in 1955. This was donated by the government, and then they put money into it and they made a library. So, we're gonna go. Oh, so this is, they also have. Chinese books dating back to the Ming Dynasty and English old dictionaries as well. So we're gonna go in. There's also all these places that you can sit out front as well. I have to speak softly, but um, so this prominent businessman, he Basically, a lot of people had to leave Hong Kong during World War II. So one of them was um, Dr. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. This is kind of interesting, right? There's no entry, but traditionally, I guess this probably would have went up that way. And I think the seminary is on the other side. So that's probably all part of the cemetery and seminary. Um, and now it's um, still an entrance for them. But so this, so the prominent businessman from Hong Kong, he would have lived here. And then he came here um, because of World War II, a lot of uh, Hong Kong was basically occupied by Japanese. This was neutral territory. Uh, many, many, many people came from um, Hong Kong into the Macau territory, and um, including the man here who came and purchased this property, Dr. Uh, Robert. Uh, dang. I know, I've seen the name many times in print, but I can't remember. There's English books if you go up, up there, um, as, as well as other books as well. Oh yeah, there it is, right, in the, right there, number four. Um, um, Libros Estrangeros. Estrangeros. Um, so you got all kinds of different books here, but yeah, that one is the you got baby books. Yeah, actually there's, I'll show you that one as well, because that one's right around the corner. So our prominent businessman, this would have been his, his, um, his home. So he would have had these gardens here as well.
and now you can see the library from all the ones up here, right? So the English section is up there on the fourth floor. So I guess that would probably, I think that's up in that area. I haven't been up there recently, but it's there. Then you got some interesting art everywhere as well. It's kind of interesting too, because you got all the apartments in the background everywhere as well. Yeah, very beautiful library. Particularly since you can sit outside like this. And then you can also um, sit up in those windows because the windows are from wall from floor to ceiling. You see people in the windows right there. It's kind of cool. This is a kids section. I have kids, so I've been in here before. So this is the Dr. Robert, the full name, and we'll catch it on the way up. I like that, it's windows as well. So we're going to go back up. So yeah, we got a really beautiful, so you can also meet and um, have conversations with friends. And now we're at our Target Street. Let me just let me walk over here real quick. For some reason, this also feels very Macau to me, because I know historically there was such a big connection, Virgin Mary, Virgin Mother Mary. And then you see another thing that says library in there, but it's but that's not allowed for the for visitors. So next we're going to walk over towards the uh, um, Casa Riki. Oh. Robert Hotung. So that's, yeah, it was Robert Hotung was the name of that. Delivering newspapers. So next we're going to walk towards Casa Riki. Casa Riki. This part of the history, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he used to be Italian and there was some kind of connection with him and Caritas. I'll explain Caritas later. Also another beautiful little area as well, right? So yeah, this residence, I don't know the history of this particular one, but Caritas is basically, um, they work with special needs kids, older people. They're um, kind of like a charity. So I'm gonna guess that probably there was a donation as well for that to also go to Caritas, which is, um, so another one from um, Sir Robert Hotung for, um, the library 
the next door was Krita, so they both have their traditional um, beautiful courtyards like that. Pastry shop. That one's funny, has a story, 2017, right? And then that one is a police station, and this one right here is this, uh, there's a story behind this one, I can't remember the full story right now. But actually that building was from the Dutch, and there was, um, and the Dutch and the Portuguese used to, um, that guy is familiar on the bike, I couldn't tell who he was, but it's somebody from the Portuguese community. I recognize his face, but I can't, don't know. Um, but so so our um, this would would lead down into Sonato Square right down that way. That would lead into a pedestrian street that's actually kind of interesting too. Um, that we're probably going to walk down to later. But yeah, this is a Dutch building that was built. Ironically, I think it's um, I can't remember the whole story, but Portuguese went to war with uh, or the Dutch went to war with Portugal. The Dutch tried to um, take Macau from the Portuguese, which I guess is basically a war. But um, so it's ironic that there's a Dutch building here as well. And then this, of course, is our square. And then you got a kiosk right here. And sometimes this will be really busy. And you also have all the places to sit, and you got some beautiful windows as well. So okay, this is um, St. Augustine Square, and if you go down that way, this is a theater right here. I think it's still closed at the moment because I was just looking to go in there. But this theater um, <clears throat> is also part of the historic uh, right here. I guess I didn't look at the sign yet for you guys. I did in another video. But this talks about the Portuguese administration, 16th century until 1999, then it returned to the Chinese. This was a historic center of Macau. Mix of East and West, um, and all these World Heritage sites right in this area. So, anyways, and just to give you a little bit of reference points, um, the Mandarin House is a prominent Chinese businessman who created kind of a nice estate, kind of like this one here, but bigger. And um, that one's also a tourist site now. And then this one, St. Lawrence's Church, is down that way as well, not too far in that direction. And that basically goes out towards the peninsula, the southern part of the peninsula. Right over there is a Grand Praia Breach, Avenida de Praia Grande, big beach road is over that way. And then over this way, this all leads into where the traditional ports. So the ports would have come in down that way, the big beach road was that way, and then down this way is like the other side of the peninsula. It also has a lot of historic stuff like the Mandarin House, um, the St. Lawrence's Church. So anyways, this is like a good place to just sit and relax in one of these chairs. So we're going to end this one right here. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Yeah.